Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment. The moniker that's attached to the new top dog Mercedes AMG GLC 2025 Mercedes AMG GLC 63 SE performance is the first indication of the newfound complexity of this extreme machine. AMG's signature product was once known as the Hammer, a simple but effective tool. You wouldn't call AMG's new GLC simple, but it's undeniably effective. The source of motivation is the biggest change versus the previous generation. That model used a twin turbocharged driver lifts off the gas. There's a 400 volt system to run that e motor and to facilitate the automatic stop start system. A 9 speed automatic transmission again employs a clutch pack rather than a torque converter, and the rear motor gets its own two speed gearbox. Finally, the 4MATIC Plus all-wheel drive system can distribute the torque from the engine and e-motor to either axle in any percentage from 50-50 to 100% rearward. Aside from minor details, this is the powertrain from the 2024 C63. There's plenty going on underneath this SUV as well. The latest GLC 63 trades the previous air springs for steel coils paired with retuned adaptive dampers that now provide a greater range of adjustability. There are also active anti roll bars which necessitate their own 48 volt electrical system. Rear wheel steering is another new addition. With a factory stated curb weight of nearly 5,100 pounds, the brakes need to be beefy, and they are with 15.4-inch discs up front and 14.6 inches at the rear. The GLC63 SE Performance enables a previously unknown variety of driving experiences, says Stefan Jastro, Director of Vehicle Development at AMG. To that end, there are no fewer than eight drive modes. Slippery, Individual, Battery Hold, Electric, Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, Seven Powertrain Settings. Reduced, battery hold, electric, moderate, sport, dynamic, and race. And four, AMG Dynamics levels, basic, advanced, pro, and master. The last only after switching off stability control, which alter the all-wheel drive system, the rear-wheel steering, the limited slip differential, and the stability control. There's also a launch mode. The only thing missing is the C63's drift mode. The driver can load two of the selectable elements onto the steering wheel's left display circle, where two buttons allow one to cycle through the choices without delving into the touchscreen. To ring the very most out of the powertrain, it's necessary to load boost mode onto that left circle. Available when in race mode only, it allows the electric motor to deliver its maximum 201 horsepower in 10 second bursts. One of the previously unknown GLC 63 experiences, evidently, is motorsports driving. There's also a drag race menu, should you be heeded to the Christmas tree. Or if you're on a road courser, the GLC 63 has savoured maps of major racetracks. For your track session, you can record and later download telemetry including speed, steering wheel angle, longitudinal, lateral and vertical acceleration, slip angle front and rear, wheel angle, boost pressure, electric turbocharger power, engine output, torque and speed, gear, engine or transmission oil temperature, 12V battery, voltage and current, HV battery charge level, voltage, current and temperature, rear axle locking ratio, individual tyre temperatures and pressures, and on and on, 80 parameters in all. Is anyone going to use this? We don't know how many of our customers are going to a racetrack, admits AMG product planner Patrick Roth. But if you want to, you can do it. At the far opposite end of the spectrum, there's the electric driving component. The GLC 63 can be driven in EV mode, and the motor is muscular enough for highway speeds, although pushing through the accelerator's kickdown detent will wake the gas engine. EV range is only a few miles, 12 kilometers on the European WLTP Cycli, which equities to about six miles using EPA methodology. So if you're keen on battery electric driving, this really isn't your car. The GLC 63 does offer four levels of liftoff region from none to one pedal driving. 
but the higher than standard levels can't be selected until the battery is significantly depleted. Once the driver selects a higher than standard level of region, it works in any drive mode except for race. No matter what liftoff region level is selected, the brake region is unaffected, and indeed, brake modulation felt totally natural. Drive the GLC 63 SE performance, however, and you discover that for all the over-the-top complexity, this thing just works. That was the overwhelming feeling we got after two days of driving in southern Spain, mostly along the still-to-be-unveiled SUV Coupe model, which should appear sometime before the GLC 63's on-sale date in mid-2024, will offer the same powertrain. So that at least is simple. Even if not much else here is. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and comment.